Brian from Tactical Performance Center. Let's talk about how to make you better at shooting on the move. So, when we look at what we need to do to shoot on the move effectively, I have a, I have a short list. First, knees bent. When you walk, you want to keep your knees bent a little bit more than usual when you're shooting to dampen the impact from your feet hitting the ground. That's going to stop everything from moving around as much and limit the bounce you get on the gun. The other thing you're going to want to do, step short. Your normal length of stride, just shorten it just a little bit. That's going to, again, reduce the impact of your foot on the ground, which is going to reduce the amount of bounce you see when you're walking and shooting. The other thing is, walk straight. So this is one of the big things people miss when, they when we talk about shooting on the move. Normally when we walk, if you look at footprints in the sand, you're going to see a footprint on the left, footprint on the right, just like that, right? Well, the thing is, if you watch your sights throughout, what you're going to see is movement side to side because there's little shifts in our weight as we step from here to here to here. So when we're shooting on the move, instead of walking offset, I'm going to try to walk in a straight line, putting one foot directly in front of the other. That's going to help get rid of any left and right movement caused by me walking. So walk straight. Next, roll the feet. Again, we're, we're trying to minimize the impact of the feet on the ground. So when I say roll the feet, that means I'm going to step with my foot at a pretty upward angle. This is going to represent my heel. I'm going to step at an aggressive angle. I'm going to flatten that foot very gradually. I'm going to pull it off the ground very gradually, pulling my toes up last. That's going to, again, just help minimize the bounce and keep the gun tracking pretty level without big disturbances. Then the last thing is watch the sights. Now, you should always watch sights when you shoot, but when I'm shooting on the move, the sights are also going to inform me when I'm ready to shoot. So even if all of these things aren't lined up well enough for me to keep the gun in the target on the move, I can shoot it on the approach. If I see my sights coming bouncing on or off the target, I can watch the sights and start pulling the trigger so I time the shot to get that hit when I need it. So, All right, so first I'm just going to kind of walk normally. I've got a laser set up on the gun and I'm going to try to keep it in that little square I drew on the whiteboard. You're going to see how much the laser moves here if I just walk normally. I can still, whoops, I can still kind of keep it in that uh, rectangle but let's see what happens if I just tweak it. So I'm going, to sh I'm going to bend my knees, I'm going to shorten my step, I'm going to walk straight, I'm going to roll the feet, and we're going to see if as I watch my sights, they're easily inside of that rectangle. So start from here. And now we're seeing a lot less movement, so I can shoot with more accuracy on the move. That's your quick tip for how to shoot on the move with a rifle. I'm Brian Nelson from Tactical Performance Center, and I hope to see you on the range.